where does the conflict, the trouble, the confusion begin? In the movement of desire. Right? You are following? Uh, say, for example, I see a beautiful tree or a be- lovely garden. <coughs> I've got a piece of land and I like to have such a beautiful garden myself. That is, I, there is perception, sensation, the image making, which is thought, right? And then thought pursues that which it has observed, which it has pleased. So, wherever there is the movement of thought with regard to sensation, then desire brings conflict. Are you understanding this? Is this clear or am I... No, no, I see it's not. I have to repeat it differently. There is perception of a beautiful house, well proportioned, all the rest of it. Then there is sensation. That's normal. That's essential. Otherwise, I'm blind. My senses are not acute, aware. But the trouble begins the moment thought says, creates the image of owning a house like that and working for it, identifying oneself with that house, and so on. So where thought begins to interfere with the perception, then there is division, then desire begins. You followed this? Is this clear? No, not what I am saying, for yourself. Are you also working as hard as we are all working? It's hot in here. Hmm? Are you working as hard? I hope so, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. So, the question is, it's natural to have the perception, sensation, that's natural. But can that can this can that moment stop and not thought come in and make create an image and pursue that image which becomes desire? You understand what I'm saying? You you understand my question? That is, sensation, perception, sensation is normal, healthy. But when thought comes in, creates the image, then the image is pursued as desire, then the trouble begins. Haven't you noticed in yourself? You can see a beautiful car, and there is sensation, and the image that you driving in it, driving it, the power you have, and all that. But when I see in the car, sensation, and stop there, can you do it? You try it and see what is involved in it. In that there is no control. You see the whole implication of desire, how it arises, how it Thought then pursu- creates the image and pursues it. Whereas sens- perception, sensation, and looking at the car, or the mountain, the girl, or the boy, or whatever it is, then there is no conflict, there is no suppression of desire. Then you, then you have the enormous energy that has been used up by the movement of thought as desire. Well, 